Hi guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today for you a 2014 Bobcat T590 rubber track skid steer loader. This is a 2014 that is an interim tier 4 with the Kubota V2607 engine. Extremely hard to find, there's only a handful of those made uh, with the actual Kubota engine. Everything else in 14 had switched over to the Nusson, but there was a handful of these made. This unit is a cab, heat, air, power quick attach, keyless dash, suspension seat, um, seven pin attached control, really a nice running working machine. It just has 2,076 hours on it. We're gonna start you back here at the engine bay and take you completely around this machine. It is a 2014, it is an interim tier four. So, the tier four stuff, interim tier four was a 2607 engine, which was 66 horsepower, no admissions other than EGR valve, uh, which Bobcat has used that for, oh my, since 2008, and they've had no issues. Excellent motor, good running engine. We've just put a brand new battery in it. We've done a full and complete service on this machine. Uh, engine oil, fuel, air, the whole nine yards. Uh, we really do take the time to service our products uh, before we put it out there so we know we don't have an issue with something when we ship it. Um, but again, fuel, engine oil, both in and out or air, cabin filters, new battery, both hub oils, both hydraulic filters. So on a new M series, you have a hydraulic filter here in your housing. Uh, that has been replaced with an OEM Bobcat filter. And then you have a charge fan filter, which also is under the cab, which we have replaced with an OEM Bobcat filter. Back door is in nice shape. We just paint the back door. This machine has had a little bit of paint touch up work. The side pillars were skin up a little bit, we painted those, and the bottom of the frame, uh, obviously in the black has been done, but the boom white and everything else is, is original, uh, but very nice working machine, very clean, undercarriage, sprockets, 75%, rear all idlers, I'm going to gauge those at 85, along with the bottom rollers. What you look at, look how fat your bottom rollers are. If you look at a roller and it's thin, that's a roller that's getting completely wore out track life i'm sticking my fingers in here you can see excellent track life 75 percent both sides are matched let's walk around here the other side so you can see that matches up both sides match the way they should okay rollers are fat sprockets match rear idlers there's no chunking uh, no grooves were in your rear idler. That's the things you got to look for. Okay, a lot of guys don't want to show you that stuff online because they're hiding stuff. Standard auxiliary hydraulics, 17.4 GPM, uh, male, female. Uh, case drain is here also. Seven pin attachment control device. Uh, power bob attach, and it functions and works. Comes with an OEM 66 uh, inch or 68 inch, I believe it is. Bobcat OEM tooth bucket has the bolt on tooth and shank in very nice condition. This machine, the only reason we touched this paint up on the front, it had some concrete spider on it. There are still some little traces of concrete spider that we couldn't get off, but doesn't affect the operations of the machine. Grab handles are nice and straight. Top of the cab is nice and straight. Coming inside the cab here real quick. We'll take you in here as we normally do. Getting in, your step, everything air is good and straight. Entrance way to the cab is good. Does have the nice Bobcat style suspension seat. This is a standard control machine. Um, we're gonna come up here and show you deluxe dash panel gauges. We're gonna come through here and we're gonna show you active warnings, none. Okay, the back, back to your um, standard panel or uh, deluxe panel. Come over to the hours, uh, 2077 now. 1210 RPM, 14.1 volt, service meters off, and there is no error codes. Okay, push to operate, um, power bob tap wedge, and power bob tap wedges up and down. Uh, throttle, all air vents are in the cab. Here is your wiper and washer. That all works. AC, and the AC does work. Cup holder. The interior is pretty decent and clean. There is still some trace of some concrete there that we could not get to come off the ceiling. Uh, but uh, this is a 2,000 hour machine. All the windows slide and work the way that they are supposed to. That is one nice thing on these new M series is the windows. Bobcat has done a very good job with the windows. So at this time, pretty good. Fire this thing back up. 
I'm gonna run it around. We'll show you the parking brakes work. We're gonna do our normal thing here that we do at Mark Supply Company. We're gonna walk you down here to the shale pit in a second, put it in the shale pit so you can see that it pushes. Here we go.
But guys, I hope you can see there from the videos, she starts and runs and works and handles excellent. There's no abnormal noise, smoke, blow by, anything of that nature. This unit has one heck of a heater in it, by the way, but 277 hour machine, care for interim Kubota V2607 powered motor, hard to find. Uh, very nice machine, runs and works excellent. Any questions at all, call us, uh, email us, message us, whatever you'd like to do, we'll be glad to help you. If you need a transport quote or shipping quote, let us know, we'll be glad to get you one, we'll cost you a dime, just give us a call. Uh, we can be reached at 814-658-3066. Please check us out on our website, www.marksupplyco.com. See us on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at MarkSupply88 is our username. Again, I'm Nick Miller. Thank you very much for checking out our products, and as always, have a great day.